T-Mobile. Para español, marque asterisco. Welcome to T-Mobile. Stand or enter your T-Mobile number and we'll connect. I'll get you right over to a representative who can help. Thank you for calling. We apologize, but it looks like we've got longer than expected hold times. Rather than waiting on hold, we can call you back when it's your turn. Between three and five minutes from now. Rest assured, you won't lose your place in line if you choose this service. To receive a call back, press one. For more options, press two. To remain on hold, press three. To schedule a call back for a later time, please remain on hold for the next available representative. Current hold time is between three and five minutes from now. We care about your experience, so we may record this call. Yeah, well, I'm going to record the call. You may experience longer than usual hold time before reaching a representative. We appreciate your patience. If you're calling for something super simple and super fast, like checking a balance or paying your bill, you can always download the T-Mobile app today in the Apple or Google Play Store. Thank you for calling T-Mobile. All of our representatives are currently assisting other customers. Please remain on the line, and your call will be answered in the order in which it was received. We offer easy and convenient services on our speech response system. You can check your balance, pay your bill, and set up payment arrangements. Just dial 611 from your phone or 1-800-937-8997. Yeah, well, I'm going to record the conversation, too. And I expect service, not bullshit. Five minutes. Right. I've been calling so much, they probably can see it on their call ID and go, here he comes again. <laughs> can you guys uh, at a customer service area see? The number calling in? You can? Like how your sister dials in our phone private? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, it's got to be a private role. Well, I'm recording this for all my private people. Thank you for waiting. Uh -huh. Have your account number or mobile telephone number ready. A representative will be with you shortly. Yeah, three to five minutes. Okay. I real I realize that you're busy over there in China. Kim Jong Un. <laughs> what? Yeah, or India, yeah. Yeah, they contracted out their customer service department. Hey, you, did you say your name's Harvey? Uh-huh. 
Wow, okay, Harvey, first of all, thank you very much for speaking some great English because uh, most T-Mobile reps uh, speak a foreign language and it's hard to understand them. But anyways, um, I'm calling today to see if I can get plugged in because I, I'm really, really, I'll be honest, I, I'm sorry you're getting this call, but I'm really, really, really upset at my T-Mobile service. Um, How can I make it up to you, huh? Well, the only way you can make it up to me is really promise me you're going to get me a supervisor on board because I want to correct our billing for the last three years that uh, we have been overbilled because of the promises that they haven't uh, made came through. We just recently found out that I got a new cell phone and I'm tired of buying cell phones, whether we buy them from the Amazon or whether we get them from the T-Mobile store. But we're not getting the, our 4G compatibility. And I'm, what I'm speaking of, even in our car and traveling outside in the, in the Phoenix area here, it, it always says 2G, 3G, you know, it doesn't say complete 4G. So something's wrong with the phone product or something's wrong with the service. And, and what I've been trying to tell the folks yesterday when I called, that uh, in our house they're going to send us a, uh, uh, a tower. They're going to send us something to give us the 4G compatibility that our Wi-Fi is not giving us in our house, uh, that our signal is weak to our property. And I, I really am dissatisfied for the last two years that I've complained to T-Mobile about this, and now all of a sudden, I'm going to get shipped and charged for something a product that shouldn't have to be necessary. You understand? Because even when I go out in my backyard, boom, boom, I should blow up the T a 4G network, Harvey. You understand that? I'm sorry to hear about those um, at the T-Mobile for the past few years. You say that's correct. Unbelievable, sir. Um, and then, and then I found out last night that somebody in November. Hello. Hello. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. And then last night I found out that somebody falsified my call-in record, stating that they offered it to me November the 27th, uh, uh, the 4G uh, home device that we shouldn't really have to have a home. Another like a Wi-Fi or something to connect to 4G. It shouldn't be that way, but I guess you know your range of a tower. I guess I guess it has to be that way. It's it's not right, but I guess it. And then I'm gonna and then they, then they charge me on top of that for this. You know, saying, well, you better take care of it, or you're gonna be charged four hundred dollars and yada 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 yada. You know, I mean, it, it's really ridiculous, Harvey. Uh, could there be more to what you just told me? Uh, is it fine if I get your T-Mobile number so that I could take a look at your account and yeah. see what I can do to help you out? Well, and that's another thing. The, the agent said I wanted to talk to the billing department, and the agent said we are billing. We're billing special technical, yada, 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 yada. You know, but anyways, okay. So the phone, the, the phone number for the account is 602 Three three two zero zero three eight is the phone number. I don't have the whole bill or account in front of me, but but I am going to make an issue, and I need to find out where T-Mobile Corporate is that I can write them a letter of dissatisfaction, or I guess I'll have to get in touch to my news uh, news media to let people know that if you're living in a farming community. You ain't getting no 4G network. Um, I be right about that. Uh, but can I have your first and last name? Yeah, first name is John. Mm -hmm. Last name is Redding. R E double D I N G. Thank you so much, John. Can I have your pin code? They, they, you're going to have to send me one. Well, no, you can't send me. Well, yeah, you can send me one. Um, you're going to have to send me one because we never started. We were never informed 
other than calling you guys that we have to do a pin code for our account so my wife hasn't set up a pin code yet so you're gonna have to send me I guess a temporary pin code are you on one of your T-Mobile numbers right now no I'm not um what number on the account can I send it to the 602 332 zero, 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 um, Can I have the last position of social so they can't order? 5906. 5906. Okay. Your, your pit. PIN code number is going to be 303-566. Yeah, but since I'm not calling you from my phone, I guess you guys have a way to come in because of that PIN code number to see the status or whatever the guy did last night to see what the um, operation of the phone or how weak the signal is getting or whatever. But I'm telling you, it's already been documented and done from from last night or or I don't know what time frame I called in last night complaining about this but I was still wasn't satisfied and I'm not gonna be satisfied until I get somebody to correct the situation that we were never told until finally last night about uh, the uh, having the extra additional device into our establishment. And I really feel sorry for those people that might work out of their home um, and then they use their cell phone for, you know, um, and, and do Google and everything else. And a lot of times when I'm doing Google searches on my phone or, or whatever, I get that little squiggly circle thing, you know, and it's searching for the service and it's not it's just not what it's supposed to be I do get your point right there I do not need to be in your situation just to understand how you feel right now you know imagine for almost two years now we're not getting any better service but I mean has, has this issue been escalated already what do you mean escalated from the customer service point of view from our um, technical department. Well, no, I don't know if it's been escalated other than offering me last night the piece of equipment to be shipped in two, two business days to our front door that pirates, uh, package pirates can steal, but um, uh, other, than, other than getting this piece of equipment and then read the instructions to set it up and, you know, so I don't understand what you're meaning escalate it beyond beyond the the level of your service as far as i know no it's not been escalated now um you mentioned that you have been um you, i mean you received an equipment there from mobile right which is i assume it's t-mobile signal booster well yeah i guess it's t-mobile equipment but sir the uh uh the thing is is that it has not been escalated like to billing or to a service agent or higher than your t uh, your specialty. And as far as I know, it's not been escalated. We have not received that product as of yet because yesterday I called. And so we haven't received that additional product that technically we shouldn't have to have. We really shouldn't have to have. It's almost like having a wheelchair without with only uh, one wheel. Thank you so much for having that one confirmed, okay? Now, um, thank you for telling me that this hasn't been escalated yet, because this really needs to be um, escalated, sir. Now, um, just give me one moment here to have this one fully documented before I get someone from our advanced technical team, okay? Okay. Fix everything that you've been going through right now. Okay, thanks, because, uh, yeah, nobody nobody gave me to an advanced, advanced area, so thank you. You always saw them, sir. Thank you for explaining um, everything to me, okay? I really do appreciate you. Uh, give me one second here.
What is our what is our monthly bill? Eighty dollars. Eighty. So then they owe us forty dollars a month for the last three years. So forty a month times twelve, they owe us quite a bit of money on a bill that we were only getting half of a product of a service. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, they owe us like twelve hundred dollars a month. Hi, Christian, did you say? Uh, yes, sir, Christian. Hey, Christian, how are you? Hey, listen, um, I don't know if they, if you can go in, I'm sure you can go in and look at because you're supposed to be an elevated um, situation technician or whatever, but, and I don't, I don't foresee the resolution ever ending except my resolution proposal to T-Mobile uh, Advanced Specialty Care. My, my resolution is that our bill is about $87 a month for the last three years since I've only been, uh, I've, I've been promised a 4G network and I just recently found out I'm only receiving two, two Gs of the 4Gs, whether I step out in the global universe or whether I, whether I uh, are, am in my property, okay? And, and it's really sad to say that uh, you know, me and my wife have had issue and issue and issue after T-Mobile phones and services and yada, yada, yada for the last three years that we just finally understood. Every, and we just recently bought a, a phone off of a T-Mobile product off of Amazon, Alcatel, and my wife bought it for me for Christmas. And it's 4G, you know, but I'm not getting my 4G in my home. And... So I'm like, wow, it's not a, it says it's not 4G bars. It's only giving me two bars. So when I called you guys and started complaining about my brand new Christmas present, like an old little kid, um, you know, it's not functioning. It doesn't have the wheels to it. Um, now I find out that my service to the property is a weak signal, okay? And um, from last night's conversation, and the guy goes, well, I can only give you my capabilities of $60 credit. And, um, and he didn't even escalate my call. He wanted to argue with me and say, I can only give you a $60 credit. And uh, it was really a hundred and some dollars, but they're sending me a product to put in my home, like another Wi-Fi to connect to a inner 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 uh tower booster, like that. Mm -hmm. yeah a what what's it called yeah i think a booster a boost thing well booster yeah okay a booster but the thing is is that still he first said a hundred and some dollars and then the additional shipping and yet it wasn't going to be waived and yada 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 well you know the thing is is that here's what t-mobile owes us for three years. T-Mobile owes us like about $1,200 because we're only getting 2G network in a farming community that we just found out. That's what T-Mobile owes us as a customer. And especially for being 13 years. Wow, I never left T-Mobile. I never shopped you know, for a, a Verizon plan for free phones or, or AT&T or whatever. I never shopped around for different service. But T-Mobile actually should pay us twelve hundred dollars. Give us twelve hundred dollars of free service that was 
was guaranteed to be a 4G network, and it's been only a 2G network. understand what you know what the current situation is right now on your end um, regarding with the network service or I know with the um, poor service that you're referring to with me earlier uh, your location sir but again I'll double check sir the location uh, what's the mobile phone number the mobile phone number is 602 332 0038 all right and can I have your first and your last name please yeah, my first name is John. Last name is Redding. R E D D I N G. All right, thank you so much for that one, John. So I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and look for out here so that I can check what's going on. Okay. Yeah, but I'm I'm telling you, it, you're still ain't talking the very tune to what I want to hear because T-Mobile ain't gonna. I don't care if I got to go to corporate on this issue. But they're, they're not going to give me half of uh, the bills that we've been paying for a 4G network and paying us back half of the cost of what we've been paying. And we have never been late on our bill because my wife didn't want our services turned off. Yeah, sure. Well, it's over, sir. You know, I'll be making sure that, uh, you know, I'll get to the bottom of this, sir. Uh, by the way, John, what's the pin or the fact that I've sir? Uh, we don't have a PIN number. My wife never set it up, but we're going to have to get this set up, I guess, because everybody wants a PIN number, so you're going to have to send me a temporary uh, PIN connection thing. Yep. Uh, which phone number would you like to send it to? Well, the 602-332-0038. Now, she just asked me, how does she set up her PIN? How, do we, how does she set up a PIN number? I guess you got to go on a T-Mobile account on the internet and do it on the internet. Well, when I go on under T-Mobile, I know, I sir. I will be the one who set it up for you. Okay. The web page is blank. She said she was talking over. She was talking over you for. I will. Yeah, I will be the one who will set it up for you. Okay. You're gonna set up our pin number. Okay. They're gonna set it up. Well, sir, I already. Yep, I already sent you a text message over the temporary pin number. Yep. Yeah, sir, just tell me, give it to me, okay, John? Yep, 785-936. But, but, right. but she was saying that on the internet, the page is blank. Um, yeah, sir, can I have to pay her uh, the last four digits of the social security number on the account, please? 5906. Right. All right. So, yeah, I'm just trying to pull it out here. John, hold on. Okay, here we go. Uh, you were saying something about earlier, sir. What was that? What was that? Yeah, you're saying something like on the account. Yeah, the wife said when she goes on the internet to do the pin thing, it pulls up a blank page. Mm. Yeah, no, because because for dollars, sir, regarding with the pin number change, sir, on the account, uh, it's actually going to be uh, sir, on the store. Yeah, you know that's just going to set it up for you. now. For that one, sir. I can definitely, you know, set that one up for you here on my end, okay? Okay. All right. Why don't we use the one that you just sent me on the phone? Use 2969. Okay. Yeah, well, for that one, sir, it's just for temporary. How about you, sir? Uh, what would be the pin number that you want to use uh, every time you, you go customer service? Okay. She said use uh, 2969. Okay, it's supposed to be six numbers, sir. So, okay, it's supposed to be six in numbers. Yep. 296953. 296953. Okay. Okay, so I can definitely set that one up here on my end. So every time that you're going to call customer service, 296953 is going to be your PIN number that you're going to provide uh, every time you call customer service, okay? Okay. All right. So, sir, yeah, regarding with uh, your account, sir, double check it out here. Uh, it seems like that on your account, you still even have a credit for $60. Yeah, that was uh, yesterday. They, they credited it for $60, and that's not fair. And like I told him, I told him that I was going to call back, and I'll call back until I get satisfaction. And like I said, I dwelled upon this all last night uh, about how T-Mobile should owe us half of what we were paying 
for 4G network. And we're only getting 2G. So, you know, and I realized that even if I would have had a 2G phone, we would have still paid $80. But that's not fair. Because technically, you know, you guys should owe us a lot more for inefficient services. Yeah, well, regarding with the credits or that, you know, that you want to get for, for this one, uh, then I think that, uh, John, I need to refer you to customer uh, service or customer care for this, sir. Okay. And I was even in a customer care store yesterday, but everybody don't want, they, they got, like, closed mind and closed ears. And if they can't sell you a $1,000 phone that you don't get a 4G network <laughs> in your property, you know, they don't want, they don't want to hear nothing. Yeah, well, sir, for the one, you know, um, John, I really do apologize for, you know, for the service, you know, for the interruption there, all right. Um, but I guess, sir, I'll double check if I can definitely give it up to you, okay? Well, you can escalate me, I guess, a uh, customer care billing specialist or whatever, because this has to be, res that has to be resolved. And I'm not going to be responsible for a $400 or a $1,300 equipment that you guys are mailing in the mail, and if somebody steals it off of our porch, because a porch pirate, you know, I mean, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be responsible for that. Yeah, absolutely, sir. So, John, um, here's what I'm going to do, John. Uh, let me see if I can, you know, push that for your man. Uh, let's be the whole vault for just about, uh, you know, a few minutes, and I'll be back, okay? Yep. All right, hold on, please. Not only that, if they know that there's porch pirates in people's neighborhoods, they should say that John will ship it to our local T-Mobile store and you can pick it up there. Right? That's another point I gotta bring up. Okay. All right, sir. So I'm actually just running a, you know, like a further investigation on your account here. Uh, but before anything else, John, uh, regarding with your pin, sir, I'll go ahead and send you a temporary one because it's asking me to send another one. So I'm going to send it to the 0037, okay? No, 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 no. No, I'm on the 0038. Because, see, that's another thing. Okay. If my wife would have went in the car and went to work, we wouldn't have been able to get to 0037. So send it to 0038, please. Sure. Okay. So if you get it, sir, just give it back to me. Okay. I thought he just set up her PIN code. Yeah, I thought he was going to set up her PIN code. Uh, so, uh, the text messages we'll be receiving here is a temporary one. Now, I need to get it so that I can save your new pin, okay? So, check for inbox here because I already sent you the text message. Okay, what about 877-890? Alright. Uh, sir, what's the last one for social again on the account? 5906. Alright, there you go. Alright. Yes, sir, um, I have successfully changed the pin on the account here on my end. So, well, like what I said earlier, right? Um, for this one, sir, it's going to be uh, that pin number uh, that's provided me that you're going to call customer service, uh, the one that you're going to use, okay? Yeah, it, it should be 296953, okay. That is correct, sir. Alright, 
So yeah, um, regarding with, um, hold on. I thought you were going to escalate me to a uh, billing specialist. Yeah, uh, I'm going to do that, sir. But before that, of course, I need to make sure that I can do it here on my end. But regarding the credit, sir, but I know I won't transfer you anymore. In some cases that I might not be able to do it, sir, that is when we'll escalate that, okay? All right. So, sir, sit down the line, okay? Yeah. All right, hold on. Yeah, on top of that, you got to be a billing specialist. Yeah, they ain't going to give us no a grand. I already know that. But they should give us, they should say, okay, well, we'll give you a, a year of free service. Whatever, you know. Write it off as that poor service.
Okay, hello? Yeah, hello, sir. Yeah, hello. Yeah, sir, so yeah, I actually did some reviews and they can't hear. Well, regarding with the credit that you, you know, you're referring to, there's no problem with that. Okay, we can definitely give you that credit. I it's just that I want to make sure that I would be calibrated here on the service. So here's what I'm going to do. Don, I'll go ahead and send a ticket or do an escalation ticket to my engineer or which is actually the back office. Now, I'll go ahead and send some men there to your tower near you to check, you know, if there's something wrong, uh, you know, with your uh, data connection, sir. In some cases, uh, you know, we might find out on the ticket response that there might be or there is, then there's no problem with it. We can definitely give you for that, okay? Well, the thing is, is that it should be documented that I've called and called and called and called and called, and, and you guys should uh, send me to the back office as you just called it so you know i don't know why i gotta be on the phone for like two hours to get a quote of anybody to understand that we should deserve a credit yeah regarding with the credits there's no problem with that we can definitely check how much will it be all right so that you know we can actually um you know like uh, give it to you the, the correct uh, amount that you need for that so there's anything we're worried because for the reason why we can transfer i can transfer you to back office is that it's actually uh, an offline team. So they pretty much cannot send, or they pretty much cannot take phone calls. I'll just send an email to them, and then I'll go ahead and send as well a ticket ID to you via text message. Uh, you know, just for preference that I was the one who did the escalation for you, okay? Okay. Everything is text Any message. More, sir? Everything is text yeah. message. Everything is text message today. I don't get it. Can't ever really talk to anybody about anything. Everybody's right, even in text message. It's a bullshit rule, but... Yes, sir. Well, I do, you know, I really do agree with you on that, sir. Just that I'm going to make this very, very fast for you. Don't worry, sir. The escalation ticket will be very effective starting today. So once I send it out for, uh, on, on my back office team via email, sir, uh, technically the response can, you know, can be less than a day. So we have to wait for the response, and after that, you're going to be notified for the after. Technically, or usually, uh, the engineers will be the one who will give you a call back for that, okay? Yep. All right. Well, there you go, sir. Just tell me wait for, or I'll go ahead and send you the ticket right now. Hold on. Yep, I sure did. All right. Now, that number is the installation number that I just did for you. Now, we have to leave it to the pros so that, you know, they can actually have this point corrected right away, okay? Okay. All right, sir. Well, that's it for me. Don't worry, sir. This call is fully documented, so you don't need to be worried about anything, sir. Regarding with the credit, sir, we're going to check and review how much will it be yeah, so that we can, you know, I'll provide you the right credit system. Yeah, but when you put that into the into the back office, you should tell them that this customer has been not having full service for three years. Three years. Yeah, absolutely, sir. Totally, I, I totally, I you know, agree on you on that, sir. Don't worry, it will be. I already include that one as well. Okay, Johnson, don't worry. Uh, just let me do uh, what I can do best here. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn it over to our Channel 3 investigator here in Phoenix and let them investigate why in this area people are having problems with a 4G T-Mobile network. So i let them investigate what they owe me. Yeah, sure. It's not a problem. And I'll send you a text message with my name on it. Just for personal guarantee that I was the one who did the policy ticket for you today, okay? Yep. Okay. Thank you. All right, all right, Jessica, that's it. You're welcome, sir. You have a good one there and enjoy your New Year, uh, New Year okay? Yeah, you too. Bye. All right, thank you, sir, John. Bye-bye. Bye for now.